Hey, Ryan. Oh, hey, Patrick. Just got done uh, hacking up a lung. Yeah. Whew. Turns out I've been a smoker for the last 20 years. I thought uh, I was alone here, but I was wrong. Patrick nope, Kovic Thomas is, is here with Thomas me. Thomas is and alone. Thomas is the one who's alone. Yeah, there's no, we don't have a title screen here, but this game is, uh, is called Thomas uh, Was Alone. It uh, comes out um, in a day or two. Uh, it is imminent. Um, it, this is mad indie. Uh, it is mad indie. Uh, the origins of this game are, uh, it started uh, part of the Ludum Dare, uh, which is one of those like game design challenges, those 24 hour, 48 hour ones. Oh, a game jam. Yeah, you know, one of those. I'm familiar with those. Me too. And so they made, they made a version of this that was, uh, ran, uh, like a, I think it was just a flash version, and then they said, hey, we like this, so we're going to make a new one. So we'll uh, put it on Unity, because that's easy, apparently. It is Unity. Uh, yeah, this is built in Unity. Uh, it's Unity's become kind of the de facto uh, indie uh, uh, engine because if you make it for one platform, it's very easy to, to port that uh, to other platforms. So well, let's uh, show me what this is about, man. So this is really early, um, and then we'll we'll jump ahead to get some to the more complex stuff. Was alone. Wow, a weird first thought to have. So it's uh, this is you know, again the intro. Uh, the blocks talk, or rather, there is narration that implies talking between the blocks. Listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to, what's the word? Jump. So this is kind of setting the tone. Uh, th this is... Uh, yeah, I, I like it so far. It, it, this definitely uh, continues throughout. Uh, you, you are introduced uh, also then to, to new blocks. And then you have this narration that uh, I read. I was like, this reminds me a whole lot of Wheatley. From Portal 2. And there was a direct quote saying from the, the one of the designers saying, yes. Yes, that is. That's a, accurate. We <laughs> that were is accurate. Directly inspired by. We are that. going to own up to that com that comparison. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Man, paranoia. Well, it's it's kind of like one of those like ultimate video game gestures, right? It's like this this kind of takes it back to, you know, the, the 2600, to like, you know, kind of the the prototype of the, like the, the, the very start of, of kind of games and graphics where you had to imagine that... Like adventure. Th ...this block was something more than just a block. And, you know, they're kind of playing on those, uh, you know, those, those visual touchstones while also obviously giving it a much more kind of robust personality through other means. Interesting. Was the world testing him? No. And the game, yeah, we, we the, and, you know, there's this, this kind of this thread of self-awareness here. Yes, like the, the dialogue just before us, you know, remarked how it's interesting how each stage is a little bit ahead of the skills that, that Thomas already had. Right. Um, so it's definitely, you know, aware that uh, it is a game, but uh, it definitely goes a little bit deeper into, you know, it, there's sort of implications that you are uh, bugs within a computer. And that you trying to, uh, I've, I've, I've only played like maybe like the first 15 stages and there's something like 100. Uh, but yeah, it definitely sounds like you are rogue glitches in a software program. And the reason it's getting more difficult is because... You're being debugged. I think so. That, that is me speculating on okay. where this goes. That's, but they, but yeah. that, it's not, it, that's their you know, sort of narrative explanation for why things are getting more challenging. This shadow casting stuff's pretty nice. I like this.
Thomas had a new thing. All right, so we're gonna World. jump ahead. So these are the, you know, this is like just the stage select. So you can see there's uh, quite a few stages in this game. I'm almost at the end of the first one. Or second one, I guess. Like, in a way, this really strikes me as a, a kind of a, a good companion piece to Fez. Yeah, sure, definitely. As far as certain certain thematic stuff. All right, so this, this is when they introduce uh, a second object. So, and they each have different properties. So this guy can definitely jump around. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a much larger leap. Um, and then you can swap to, to the other guy. Uh, not as much of a leap, but he's... Uh, much smaller, so we can get in tighter spaces. So then you have to start combining, the, up. combining the two to get them uh, to where they need to go. Getting your lost Vikings on here. Exactly. Blizzard's not going to make that game. Somebody's got to. <laughs> and without Vikings, there's just blocks. So this one's this guy's name is Chris. These these little things are respawn points. So. Okay. Well, not actually, not technically graceful. So a lot of times you'll start in different points of the map. Fine. Okay, interesting. Gotta confine yourselves. Skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Oh. I really like the music in this game. It's, yeah. It's very chill, but it's the job done. So oftentimes, you know, the, the maps will be set up so that you know, this is very like early versions of this, but where you converge at certain points and then split off to go do your own thing, and then merge again at certain points, split off to do your own thing. Sometimes there are buttons uh, that some characters can uh, can only access uh, that will, you know, change the environment to introduce stairs that, that make it manageable. So here's a, here's an early instance of that. So you got to use the shorty here to slide under right. there and hit that button, glowy white, and then you can. Thing. But then um, you need to go down, right? Because see, the, the small guy can't get up there. His, his jump isn't high enough. Yeah. What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? And there are things you can do to to move multiple guys around at once. Um, I can't jump in this instance, but I can move left to right. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, on a flat surface, anyway. Grace, Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. Fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. And now, let's see if I can. How? Uh, I was gonna say how. Uh, how challenging have these gotten so far? Not I mean, too challenging. You, you, you've been. Uh, well, we're, we're still a ways to go, obviously. Yeah. So we're gonna jump ahead to where I'm at. Okay. And so we'll get to stuff that I don't know how to do. Uh, where we've introduced three. I believe you, I believe this is as, the, the most amount of objects you get, but I, I, I could be wrong about that. Uh, so now you have one that can jump really high, is very skinny, can go hugely long distances. Um, but then there will obviously be uh, paths that it cannot. Right, because it's so tall, then it needs the help of everyone else. To keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was so now you've got, you know, that has changed the dynamics of that block so that he can get through here. Ooh, wait a so he must be able to get. Well, they can both get through there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not hard to see pretty quickly, you know, where where this game could start getting uh, pretty nuanced in terms of. Sure, I could I could I could see there being some uh, some challenging puzzles in here if you're having to use uh, kind of all three like this, like using each other as a path, but then having to also get everyone up there or to you know wherever your uh, your goal is. And, and you know, again, this is still pretty early yet, so the game red, is. Red's not gonna make it. 
Oh, there you go. Uh, you're, get, you're getting a lot of situations where the game is having you kind of do the same stacks over and over again. Um, which are clearly meant to start internalizing, hey, this is going to be a pretty useful Common skill. Thing, yeah. uh, you should keep that in mind. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Oh. Yeah, we gotta bring him back down. And I like the way that, you know, the blocks stretch out just a little bit to convey the jump. Yeah, it, 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 you know, it's like, a really simple game that has a, a lot more character than it probably ought to. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I feel like they get a lot of distance out of the, the narration and just a little bit of uh, animation on the blocks uh, as well as uh, as this kind of shadow casting, this this vague light sourcing that they're doing. Like, they, they just get a lot more mileage uh, out of a game that... Uh, Mechanically, you know, th doesn't doesn't need it, but that it, it adds quite a bit to to the game to have it. Um, so you know, it's pretty clear how once they went from being uh, sort of a game, you, you can see how this would would have just been a game jam game. Like, okay, we have very limited resources in terms of what we can accomplish, you know, visually. Yeah. Um, and then once you've got that that basics down, it's like, okay, well, the mechanics work. Do we really need to? Create complex characters, or can we give give them life through some other means? And and they definitely, I think, have done a good job of conveying that without. I can move these guys. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, I'm gonna have to use him to get back up. Yeah. So this is uh, this is coming to Steam. Uh, I don't know. Um, you can if you go to Thomas uh, Thomas was alone oh, was alone gonna, com, um, You can get uh, you can get access to it. Uh, it there wasn't a price announced uh, last. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to get last I looked, uh, but I you know. If it's anything like its contemporaries, you're, you know, you're not looking at anything more than ten dollars. Yeah, five to ten bucks seems, um, seems uh, right around the. Yeah, run, runs it runs on PC and Mac. Uh, you know, it's I you know I, I constantly reference my own MacBook Air as, as sort of a barometer, but it you know it runs runs beautifully on something like that. It scales really well. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't seem like there's uh, too much heavy lifting to be done here from a technical standpoint. But uh, we, we so we don't have a price point uh, a. It's, it's, it's out June thirtieth, so, so we do have a date. Yeah, so it is it is out it is out this week, uh, uh, so this uh, this coming Saturday. So um, you, you can you can find out where to get it uh, at uh, thomaswasalone.com. Yeah, and you know I think you know we can we can probably pause it here. I think this gives a pretty good sense of the kind of progression you can expect from the game. Like you can see. Um, over yep. here, now so you've got water. The, the way things are getting more complex. Yeah, and they, you know, they introduced water earlier as far as being a, a hazard for you. So. Uh, so it sounds like you know you're going to have a situation like I'm not going to go through and solve this puzzle, but that you'll have to line everything up, and then you know that's that one middle one is not on a flat surface, so you have to get the other set up, and then you know drop that down. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are more physicy puzzles like that that require you to have some very specific timing that is not just stacking your blocks, but... Physicky. Yeah. Uh, that's a genre. That's a genre. Physicky. Uh, that uh, sounds like you're sick. Physicky. Very, very physicky. I've been physicky all week, Patrick, so we should uh, probably uh, end this quickly. All right, so... But thanks for showing this to me. This seems really cool. I'm, yeah. I'm, I feel richer now knowing about it. I, I really enjoy the, the, you know, their approach to the, the visuals, and I'm with you on the soundtrack, and yeah, it's... It's an interesting, unique little thing here. Thomas yep. was alone. All right, thanks, Ryan.